located now on the juncture between Etria and Dhu. Right? This is what we mean by junction of them. It means that the base maker, not anymore the SCE node. It is located somewhere in the junction between Etria and Dhu. Here? Second, third condition, if the B is multiple with a block, the rhythm is atria, either atria flutter, atria fire. The fourth condition for the B is absent. If the B is absent, I will look to the QRS. QRS narrow, sobra ventricular. QRS wide, it is ventricular. Ventricular regular, V tag. Irregular, V tag. This is all the difference in the way it's possible. Yeah. It, we have to talk about junctional more detail because you notice that here the B is negative but before the QRS and here the B is negative but after the QRS. Why? B has three situations in junction. This is the junction, this is the atria, and this is the rim. Clear? Three conditions for the B. It has to be negative because that is the direction of depolarization against the direction of the current. But it could be negative before, or negative after, or negative behind the QRS. How this will happen? If this is the junction, if it is high junctional, which part of the heart will be depolarized first, atria or ventricle? When the impulse come, atria first, because atria is close to the, here it is high. Right? So it will reach the atria before reaching the ventricle. So I will see the B negative before. What will happen if it is low junction? Which part of the heart will receive the impulse first? The ventricle. So I will see the QRS first, then the B negative. Third situation, if it is in the middle, what will happen? Both will be depolarized together. What is more stronger? The QRS. So I will see the QRS and I will not see the B because it is masked by the QRS. Mm -hmm. So B has three situations in the junction of it. Negative before, if high junction, negative after, if low junction, and absent, we cannot say absent, it is negative but behind the QRS. Mm -hmm. This is the situation you have it in, your, in the rhythms between your hands. And this is the rhythm of junction and equip, which will be in the exam. Okay? What is this? Uh, for, uh, Sinus rhythm? No. no. As I told you, do not be confused. Look to the beat. No, if I look to the beat here, it is a heart block. It is safety. heart block. So there is sinus. Uh, yeah. So this is sinus rhythm. But uh -huh. what is this? It is irregular. And it is one beat with different heart block. Heart Heart movement. With different different forms. And come early. This is the normal duration between two normal beats. This come early, this come early, this come early. This come early. Arterial contraction. So sinus red will be mature atria. Three criteria I find in this beat. First, the beat is different. Why the beat is different? Because if I am taking a photo with a fixed focus, it will give me the same picture. If I change the focus, it will be different. This is what's happening. There is one focus in the atrium. The sinus is the command of this heart. But this focus, every now and then, sending the electricity to, 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 to command the heart. This is what's happening. When it has the chance to express itself between two beats. Because if it comes with the sinus, sinus is more stronger, it will be abolished. So it will come between the two normal beats. That's why it will come early. So come early, different beam morphology and compensated by compensatory both behind to compensate what comes here. Okay? Premature beats can come from anywhere, away from the sinus, in the sinus. Almost 
premature beads will be in a sinus rate. Clear? It can come from the atrium, it can come from the junction, it can come from the ventricle. So we have sinus rhythm with premature atrium, sinus rhythm with premature junction, sinus rhythm with premature ventricle. You understand now the premature beats? It can come from anywhere in the sinus rhythm between the two beats. Usually it will come early with different either B or QRS morphology and compensatory goes behind to compensate because it comes early. This is the sinus rhythm with premature atrial fibrillation. It's not in there. What is this? Heart blood. Multifocus VBC. Look to the B. B is present, positive, single, so the rhythm is sinus. This is sinus rhythm. What is this? BBC. Different QRS morphology. Also, B speeds come early. See, this is a normal duration. One, two, three, four. Here two only. Here two only. So it comes early with different QRS morphology and compensatory goes behind. Right? So this is sinus rhythm with premature ventricular contraction. Just I told you, premature beats can come from anywhere. It can come from atria, junction, or ventricle. Okay? How to know? According to the abnormal wave. If the abnormal wave is the B, B represents atrial contraction. So this is premature atria. If the different morphology in the QRS, this is ventricular. Right? In premature junction, the same as the junction we mentioned. Either the B will be absent or behind, negative before or negative. Never mind our premature junction, let us concentrate on premature atria and premature ventricular. There are some clinical issues we have to talk about premature ventricular. And you have to take care because it is too much in the exam. ECG exam, there is a lot of premature ventricular. Yeah. First issue, if, if you have any rhythm with premature ventricular, you have to have the answer for three questions to diagnose it properly. Number one, it is unifocal or multifocal. According to what? To the premature beats. Is it the same morphology? which means it comes from the same focus. Because as I told you, if the same, I'm taking photo with the same focus, it will give me the same picture, different. So you have to answer this first question. Is it unifocal like this or multifocal? You see, this is different morphology for the premature beats. So this is multifocal, OK? And this is unifocal because the same focus. This is the first question. Second question, there is couplet or no? What do we mean by couplet? Couple, two together. Third question, there is a pattern or no? What do we mean by pattern? Sometimes I will find one normal sinus beat, then one premature. One normal sinus, one premature. One normal sinus, one premature. All the rhythm. This is by Gemini pattern. So what I will say, sinus rhythm with either unifocal or multifocal in by Gemini pattern. If two normal, one BBC, two normal, one BBC beat, I would say this is tri -gemini. Three normal, one BBC, three, all the rhythm, not only once. I will say this is quadrigemini. So three questions, unifocal or multifocal, there is a couplet or no, there is a pattern. If you answer these three questions, you will answer the rhythm properly. You will recognize the rhythm properly. The other issue, when I will say BBC is serious, <coughs> when I have to consider this BBC is serious, because BBC can be normal, right? Yeah. But we have to know what are the criteria to say this is serious BBC. When I will say this is serious BBC, if it is frequent, why I'm afraid from the BBC? If it, because it can lead the heart. And when it leads the heart, 
it will cause Vf or V tag, right? Yeah. So if it is frequent, how frequent? When I can judge that this is frequent or not? It comes to ten per minute. Hmm? Ten per minute. minute. No, one to ten. One BBC to ten normal. Mm -hmm. If the ratio is less than this, two to ten, three to ten, this is free. Okay? Number two, if it is multifocal, because what does it mean multifocal? I have many fossils, multiple fossils in the ventricle. And this also can lead that the retina will be leaded by this premature beads and could be leading F or B tag. Right? So if it is frequent, if it is multifocal, if it is an MI incident, this patient has MI and there is BBC in the red, I have to take it serious because this patient is in ischemic cancer or in ischemic incident. Number four, R on T. What do we mean by R on T? You notice here that the R of the BBC bead come after the T of the previous. This is not serious, but if it come on T, it means that this bead hit the heart on the previous Repolarization phase, right? Which is serious. Why? Because during T, heart is relaxing, recharging. If this beat come on the T, during the T, it could be serious and the rhythm can be converted to either VF or V. So again, clinically, especially for the doctors, when I have to consider BBC is serious, if it is frequent, multifocal, on MI incident and R on T. Now ask me if I have a what I will tell you. The target of our is that we have a comment. You are welcome. Okay, this is the BBC. What is this? Beta. 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 Monomorphic. How is the B here? B is absent. absent. As we mentioned, B is absent. I will look to the QRS. QRS non sobraventricular. QRS wide, it is ventricular. If the rhythm is regular, it is V tag, which is here. And this is monomorphic because the same or false. So this is monomorphic V tag. This is very important in the BF, you have to recognize it well. What wow. is this? Cut it. Why then QRS? Polymorphic dorsal the point. Why? Because if you notice that it is in a spindle shape, the rhythm is a spindle shape. Now, why? Now, why? Like twisting of a point. So this is too sad. If you are confused, this between this rhythm and VF, no one will blame you. Why? Because B is absent. And the QR is is wide, so I can misrecognize it as polymorphic beta or VF. But if the patient is alive, so I will consider it not, do not say this is VF, right? Mm -hmm. VF, the patient is arrested. Okay? Suppose the patient is arrested with Torset, the management is the same. Also, no problem if you are confused because the same high energy defect. Okay? Mm -hmm. But you have to consider what this is. What is this? Regular sinus problem. Bradycardia. Long PR. Bradycardia. Because the rate is around 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 4. Maybe it is 40. And this is tremors. So this is sinus branding with muscle tremors. What is this? Thank you. 
First degree. First degree hard block. Why we said this? Because the ER is there that is more than normal. The normal has to be from three to five small squares. How I count it? From the start of the B to the start of the R, not the end of the B. So if I calculate this, I find it around seven or eight small squares, and the normal has to be from three to five small squares. More than this means that there is a block. What do you mean by block? Is it first degree or the block? Block means there is a problem in the wire. You know that heart is working with electricity. And if the heart is working with electricity, it, need the, it needs a battery and it needs a wire to put, or a, a, a generator to generate electricity and a wire to conduct this electricity to the rest of the heart, which is the conducting system. So this wire, if there is any problem in this wire, this is the block, which will lead to problem in conduction. So block means a problem in the wire leads to a problem in conduction, right? Like your charger for mobile. If it is genuine, it will charge your mobile fast. But if it is not genuine, still it will charge, but it will take longer time. But if the wire is cut, it will not charge. These are the degrees of the block. So block means problem in the wire leads to a problem in conduction. It could happen anywhere there is a wire. It could happen in after the sinus, sinoatrial node, in the intranodal pathways, this is sinus block. It could happen in the level of AV node, means hard block. So when we say hard block, it means block at the level of ebony. It could happen in right bundle, which is right bundle branch block. Could happen in left bundle, left bundle branch block. Could happen in any divisions of the bundle branch. So it can happen anywhere. Now we are concerned in SLS about the hard block. So when we mention hard block, it means a block at the level of ebony. These blocks are degrees. According to what we are classifying them to degrees, according to the severity of the block. As I give you the, 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 the example of your charge, this is the same. First degree, second degree, third degree. In first degree, what's happening? All the waves passes, BQRS, BQRS, so, but with a delayed conduction in AV. How it will be presented for me in the ECG, the R interval will, will be prolonged. Clear? This is the first degree. In the second degree, some waves are passing, BQRS, BQRS, and some are blocked. B without QRS. Clear? Third degree, no conduction at all. The wire is cut. Atria will work alone, commanded or by fired by sinus, and the ventricle will work alone working with each of ventricular ventricles. Yeah? So, block, broken in the wire, lead to a problem. It could happen anywhere in the tree of conducting system. Our cons we are concerned about the heart block, which is heart block at the level of three brain. First degree, second degree, third. First degree, only delaying it in conduction in even or presenting with the ECG by prolonging the arm there. What is this? Second hard block. Second hard block type one. Why is it? This is second degree because some are passing BQRS, 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 and some are blocked B without QRS, B without QRS. So this is the second degree as I told you. Why do you say this is type one? Because the DR is progressively increased with each block. This is also second degree hard block. BQRS, 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 B without QRS. So some are passing and some are blocked. This is the second degree hard block. Type 2, why? Because the BR in there that is excellent in some block. Second degree, type 2, and third degree is emergency. 
first degree and second degree type one, two, three. What is this? This is the third degree. What I will find? No relation, you see? B is normal or regular and QRS is regular. But they are working without any synchrony. Why? Because there is no conduction in the ilium. The wire is cut. So the ethyl is still fired by the sinus, so I will find it regular. And the QRS will be the ventricular working with EG. That's why very slow, you see, around 30. So what I will find here, the, B, the number of the B is more than the number of the QRS, and the QRS is wide. Why the QRS is wide? Because EG ventricular, the conduction is through the walls, no wire inside. No wire working inside the ventricle. And if the wire is there, that's why we said supraventricular will be narrow. Why? Because the wire in the ventricle is still working. And conduction in the wire is very fast. Whenever you open the switch, the lamp will illuminate it if the wire is okay, right? So here I will find the B, the number of the B is more than the number of the QRS, and the QRS will be wide, as you see, because this is key. Okay. What is this? If you remove the D from this red, this will ah, be the ventricular. So what this red means? It's your ventricular. It's your ventricular. As I told you, the ventricle will work in each. So the difference between this red and this, that here it is B, but here it is no B. So this is the issue. What this red means? It is the same as the previous, but with control green. Right? The same picture, no? But with control green. Why the red here is controlled or normal? Because this is the doctor adjusted himself. <laughs> this is the base maker, there is a spike here, right? Mm. What is the base maker device? Generating electricity, because the, this patient has a problem with his base maker, so we have to fix it for him, an artificial device generating electricity with a wire inserted transvenously, at, applied or administered in the ventricle, but there are many types, it will conduct this electricity to raise the heart. So you will find a spike, which is the generating of the electricity, and then the ventricle will capture. So this is our effect. We finish the ECG recognition. We go to our second issue, which is a key coronary